That one ripped right center field. So much for settling into this game, Boog. No courtesy first pitch take right there. He was ready from the second he stepped into the box, got a pitch to hit, jumped all over it. I tell you what, that'll fire up the guys in your one in. As soon as that ball left his fingertips, it was trouble. Right on a platter, right down the heart of the new. As soon as that ball left his fingertips, it was trouble. Right on a platter, right down the heart of the plate. I'm sorry, but count a hitter is on high alert. This is what you live for to be in the dives. What a play! Love about this swing is he stayed tall, allowed his hands to go directly to the baseball, letting that bat head get and Minute Maid Park. The show brings you the opener of a big four-game weekend set. It's the Cleveland Guardians taking on the Houston Astros. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about set. And our pitcher in this game, Dustin May. And Chris, he's a guy that gets better when things get tough. He's been a very solid pitcher throughout his career. ERA around three and a half. What I like is he competes, he stays in the game, and he gives his team an opportunity to win. Okay, all set to go. Here's the center fielder, Emmanuel Paquez. Come on, big guy, get your pitch. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. First pitch, 7 11. Right hander kicks deals. And it's fouled away. See it, drive it. Come on, kid. And a pitch. One ball, two strikes. And a ball Good evens the count. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball, he stays alive. 2-2 Two -two now. To the right side, Biggio gloves it in plenty of time to first, one up, one down. Two gone with runners at the corners. Jalen Davis up next for the Astros. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. And that one in the air center field. Paquez racing over to make the catch. On to the second inning now for Minute Maid Park. It's the Astros. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now here is Frank Cross. And now it's one and two. Into center. Jaquez under it. Makes the grab one down. Batting it. Out of the third inning. So in now for Cleveland, Emmanuel Jaquez. Leading off for Cleveland, the center fielder. Emmanuel. The pitch. Okay. There's the strike. This guy's got oh such one. a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. And now the one count one. is even. And a pitch. Two balls, one strike. Right side, and that's, that's just foul. foul. Next offering is fouled back. And the righty deals. 
in the air left field and that one pulled down by Jimenez and there's one down now the left water. ready now for the fifth inning stepping up for the Guardians Emmanuel Paquez the center fielder Emmanuel Paquez Hey, get your pitch, see through, huh? Let's go. And here it comes. And first offering is fouled off. Hey, you can do it, kid. No one better up there. Let's go. The pitch. Swing and a miss at 99 oh, miles an hour. The 0 2 stays alive. Going to now. That one missed. One, two, the, the 1 2. Just That's misses with that nice one. Side. Really good take, especially with two strikes. The pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. Squeezes it. And there's one down. Now batting. Left field. Drew Water. Back to the top of the lineup. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Opening Emmanuel right here, Paquez. Emmanuel. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. And that one lifted in the air center field. Christian pulls it down and that should get the job done as he tags from third. He's in to score on the sack fly. It's 3-2. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. Base is empty, one away. Here's Aloy Jimenez. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. That one ripped. That's back. And that one hops the wall. And that'll kick off the base of the wall. And he gets there. The tying runs at third with a triple. Good two-strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost art for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. Put a really beautiful swing on that pitch right there. Just didn't quite have the combination of launch angle and exit velocity. Jalen Davis digs Two in outs. now. Get out of here. Two outs with a runner at third. Out to center, Paquez under this one. He's got it, and that is out number three. So the Astros leave one. They're down three to two. Cabin Biggio with a chance to hit. Possibly thinking about home run number 100 here. He's just one shy of that milestone. That's out to center field. Makes the grab on the run. Two away down. Now that is the right field. So two down. So next up for Houston, Jalen Davis. Liner, base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Right there, he does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. So digging in, Emmanuel Paquez. Emmanuel Paquez. Hey, make it yours. <laughs> Oh, 
pitch up there. In there, and it's 0-1. And now the lefty. Strike two. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. Oh, big guy. Get your pitch and let it rip. Let's go. 0 oh and 2 now. No, that missed. That's Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. Gets to it on to first. In time for the second out. Good job to clean it up after the drop third strike. I'd say you're lying if you say you don't feel a five-game losing streak. This W definitely helps them relax a little bit and take some of the pressure off from it going to a six, seven, or even an eight-game losing streak. 4-3, our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us. in Houston. It's Major League Baseball on a Friday night. It's the Cleveland Guardians taking on the Houston Astros. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go now. Getting the nod on the mound, Lance McCullers Jr. His career ERA has been under four. What I like most about him is his reliability. Takes the ball every fifth day, ready to go whenever the manager calls. Emmanuel Paquez swings through that one to lead off the inning. First pitch, seven ten. Next pitch misses. One ball, one strike. One ball, one strike. McCullers winds fires. Next offering is outside. And delivers outside. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. Let's go, big dog. And he walked him. Outside, ball four. Now, this was a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. Taylor Wall digs in for the Guardians. Here's a one-two. Up the middle, into the outfield, base hit. The throw is wild, and it gets away. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Now batting key Brian Hayes. Hitting better against right-handers this year, so some reverse splits there. Paquez on second. Walls on at first with nobody out. He's going. Here's the pitch. It's a double steal. Squibbed out in front of the play. No shot at the double play with the runners going. Batting four. The shortstop. O'Neill Cruz. One down. Now the four-hole hitter for the Guardians, O'Neill Cruz. And he deals. 
Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. One run is in. Here's the throw to the plate. He beats it safe. And they lead by two. Well, he had the opportunity to drive in some runs, and he comes through to break the tie. That was a pretty good pitch. Breaking ball down and in, but when it's breaking in towards you, you have a lot of time to see it and just try to get on plane with it. He hit that one pretty well. Back here in Houston, now it's the veteran outfielder, Trent Grisham. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Ripped on a line. Makes the grab one away. Batting second. The why to kick the pitch. And that's downstairs and outside. Saying he wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff for the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made. Sometimes it's location. Sometimes it's being too predictable. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly, though. He swings and fouls one off. Kicks and deals. On the ground at first. Oh, look at the stop. Gathers and throws. On the money. Nice play. And up next for Cleveland, Emmanuel Jaquez. Good contact guy, good defender. Emmanuel Jaquez. Ground ball left side, could be two. Feed to second, that's one. Double play, and that'll do it for the inning. On now to the bottom of the fourth. Guardians four, and the Astros one. One out, runner at second. And next to hit for Houston, Joe Perez. And Boog, I'd say he's due. Ball to strike. That one hammered center field. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Runner tags up for third. And he moves up to third, now two away. So the Guardians lineup turns over. Emmanuel Paquez digs in for the Guardians. Emmanuel. Hey, need you right here. Need you. Well struck oh, right yeah. field. And it slams off the bottom of the wall. Biggio with a relay throw. And he's into second with a double. And man, just shy of a homer on that one. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his bat. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. One away, runners at second and third. And now, Taylor Walls for the fourth time tonight. Two on, one out. And they're all loaded up. You get a walk, and you get a walk. Everyone gets a walk, Boog. One out, base is loaded. Key Brian Hayes digs in for the Guardians. Up, when you Let's talk go. about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. The 0-2. Double play ball to second. There's one, and that's two. These boys were ready to make a play with the bases loaded. Excellent job of execution there. You turn the double play, and the inning is over. Oh, 
So in now for Cleveland, Emmanuel Paquez, one for three. Well, both sides Emmanuel. equally as strong. So not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. First offering wow. way inside, almost got him. Hey, right guy, no one better up there. The 1 0. Swing and a high fly ball, pretty well struck right field. That's back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. A three run homer, and they tack on three. It's 7 2. Singing, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. That was one of those home runs where you really don't know if he got enough of it off the bat. I mean, he put a good swing on it clearly, but I wouldn't say he really got the sweet spot on the bat. A win on the last day of the month, you close it out with the W, but you want to carry that momentum into the next game. 7-2 your final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. Thanks for joining us. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the Cleveland Guardians taking on the Houston Astros. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about ready to roll on the hill here today from Valdez. What's the scouting report on him? Well, what quickly stands out to me for this guy is that he comes in with a three to one strikeout to walk ratio on the season. So when you consider consistency, the ability to get swings and misses and to limit base runners, that's critical in winning games today, especially when teams are depending on the big swing, the home run to win ball games. Emmanuel Paquez takes one off the outside here. First pitch, 111. Get your pitch up there. Let's go, kid. Lifted in the air, right center field. Flashes the leather on the run and catch. And there's one down. Bottom of the first. And stepping in for the Astros, Frank Cross. In the air, center field. Paquez has this one sized up. Puts it away for the out. Batting second. The second baseman, Jeremy. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's the Cleveland leadoff hitter, Emmanuel Paquez. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion. And he's in full speed. And he swings oh and misses at the initial offering. If you're going to be a championship type of ball club, you've got to hit with runners in scoring position. And after last night's struggles, I'm sure these guys are chomping at the bit to have this kind of opportunity here early in this game. Come on, guy. Hey, get a good one. Get a good rip on it, huh? At the belt and fires. That misses the zone. And that's ball one. See it, rip it there. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. One and two now. That one to first. Dives and he can't hang on. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. Pitcher gets to the bag for the out. Now back. The left 
Two outs, runner at first. The right fielder, Jalen Davis. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. Two outs. Now fly ball to right center. Haquez makes the catch, and that'll do it. One left for Houston, and they trail it here, 2-1. to one. Emmanuel Haquez will hit next. The center fielder, number eight. Emmanuel Haquez. Come on, kid, get on for us. Here we go. Next pitch has popped up. Pena pulls that one down, and there are two down. Now batting, left fielder, Drew Water. So one out, nobody on. So next up for Houston, Brett Phillips. I think when you contemplate him as a player, the first thing you think about is defense, and you think about that great arm. I also think about the speed, if he can get off. Now this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. And out of here. That one felt good, and we're level. It's 2-2. Breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserved it. And now the first baseman, Frank Cross. Well, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the slump even longer. Never seemed to help. Never helped me. Base hit. So he gets on base and keeps it going. Right there, he does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. We're at the top of the eighth. Here's the center fielder, Emmanuel hey, pitch, Paquez. Deep, huh? Here you go. The center fielder, Emmanuel your pitch up there. Paquez. And a pitch. Up the middle. And it gets by him. Now back. No outs. Hey, Runner at first. Drew Here Waters digs in for the Guardians. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. First and second, no outs. No now batting right key now. Brian Hayes. Hey, I need you right now. Here we go. And a swing and a miss. And one out now. Well, when he get the call on the mound, the pitch before, felt like he should have had him looking, I think. But, you know, that's good composure right there. He found a way to come back with another good pitch to get him to swing and miss. Now it's Jose Ramirez. One for two. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, but not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change. Here's the pitch. Both runners on the move. This one popped up. That ends the frame. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. We are tied 2-2. He's done it again, Boog. That's his 30th save of the year as he puts another game to bed. Sweet dreams, everyone. And your final score, 5-2. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long.